I know that I've been promising you all double masters, and today, it actually is going to happen. Welcome to Unboxing Tutor. Finally, like I've been talking about, we have double masters. Oh. That's not nearly enough, is it? Okay, well, we're just going to have to, uh... Once again, give ourselves a rain check, and we'll just put that right. Uh, Blur. Cool. Good. All right, so we'll just get ourselves into this instead, since we're still waiting on the the big old box of dubs to actually show up at some point. Thank you. Christmas gifts clogging the mail, and we have. All of our stuff, plus we'll open this, because I've been saying Double Masters all the time, and it's high time we actually did some. So, we're just going to divide these up, and we'll put, the, we'll put the Godzilla card that I don't care much for on the top of the stack, because it's just alternate art, and I definitely don't appreciate it as much as someone who does appreciate Godzilla and its mythos probably would. So we'll just do that first, and then in the middle of the 36 booster packs, we'll just slap this bad boy in there. That way we have something fun to look forward to in the middle. So yeah, it's going to be mostly Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths today, and we're off to a good start because I can actually open the plastic instead of feeling like I'm being locked behind a, like a child safety cap of some kind meant for card games because I'm just inept, I guess. Anyhow, our Godzilla card this time is Enguirious Armored Killer, which is actually meant to be Gem Razor from the actual set. It's a cool card. It's not a character I'm familiar with. I was kind of hoping to see something I'd know, like, uh, I don't know, Godzilla or Mothra or something like that, perhaps. A character that I'm a bit less ignorant of. But it mutates, it has reach, it has trample, it's a 4-4, and whenever it mutates, it destroys a target artifact or enchantment that opponent controls. Cool card. I'll put it in a binder or something neat later so that I can keep that safe and looking nice. And then we'll just move right on to the meat of what we are doing. Also, this is not my place, so if you notice a myriad of unfamiliar cats haunting the shadows of the... Well, there's one now down there somewhere. Uh, if you notice a myriad of unfamiliar cats just kind of going in and out of the shot, they are here, and this is their home, so we cannot judge them. And I'm just going to go through this pack from the top like this, because I don't know if it's like the last set I opened, if the rare is going to be... Facing forward near the top, we'll find out. A token, you know, land. I'm pretty sure the rare is next, so actually, since I know better, we'll just put that there. Because I think that will fix our packs. We'll get our uncommons first. Land. A Bastion of Remembrance. Uncommon. Good card for uh, aristocrats, from what I understand, because it makes a guy and also taxes your opponents when your stuff dies. Good thing. General's Enforcer, Pouncing Shore Shark. Hopefully we will see the Sharknado this episode. There's actually a Sharknado card in this set. Garrison Cat, Plummet, Crustacean, Alternate Art Cavern Whisper, which looks really freaking cool. I'm loving the, the, the art for the creatures in this set from what I've seen. This isn't the first time I've opened this box, but it's the first time on the channel, so it's really cool. Essence Scatter. And they're going right into a good land that's a Vitriome. And just tap, you can cycle for three, and it gives you either a red, white, or black mana. So, good for more new color decks. Set that aside. Tokens. We'll just set the token in the basic land, like, over here somewhere so it's separate. And then back right on to the next one. Hoping to find good things that I can scream and cheer about and get really excited for instead of being monotone and boring. Get rid of the plastic. Get, get out of here. We got an ad. We got a basic land. Gone. Rare to the back. 
Wingspan Mentor gives your non-human creatures flying. Monstrous Depths of I Thunder Mane. Greater Sandworm. Unexpected Fangs. Bristling Boar. Perimeter Sergeant. Capture Spear. Blade Vanish. Aegis Turtle. Lava Serpent. Uh, my girlfriend's favorite card, the Durable Coil Bug. A Farfinder. And Yidaro, Wandering Monster. An 8 8 Trample Haste, Cycling 2. And from what I understand, this is actually the card that one of the Godzilla monsters, that is actually Godzilla, is meant to be a template of. He's a dinosaur turtle, apparently. Godzilla's a turtle. That's just. Embarrassing for anyone who gets run over by a turtle. The, the monsters, you lost your turtle, my friends. Doesn't look good for your rep. Catbird token. I already feel like a winner. This is a great token. It's a cat, it's a bird. And we will... That's a foil. That is a foil, so we'll take our basic land off. And foil to the back, and rare to the back. Got an Endotha crystal. Flourishing fox. Insatiable Hemophage, alternate art, looking really cool. Mysterious Egg, Sudden Spinrets, Solid Footing, More Crab, Granite Healer, Forbidden Friendship, Blood Curdle, Cloud Piercer, Dead Weight, a Foiled Frenzied Raptor, and Alluris of the Dream Den. Lots of good cycling cards in that pack, actually, for a... Uh, a friend of mine does a cycling deck that uses a lot of cards we went through in that pack. If I can open these. Oh my god. Oh no. Gotta be in there. Gotta get in there. Human Soldier. Tranquil Co. I don't know if that's our rare on the end or if that's just an alternate art that I'm seeing. So we're just gonna token out, land out, card to the back, card to the back. And if we hit two uncommons, then I know that I've moved something I shouldn't have. We've got Titanoth Rex, Sonorous Howlbonder, Suffocating Fumes, which is a regular common, so I did remove a card that I did not need to. Whoops. Dark Bargain, Farfinder, Prickly Marmoset, Blitzleech, Alternate Art, Everquill of Phoenix. Looking really awesome. Actually, this is an art I haven't seen, which is kind of cool. Extra Spicy Chicken. And a Savai Crystal. Underwhelming, since it shouldn't have been on the end. Get it out of here. More cards. Give to me. No Mythic Rares yet, though, so we'll get cool stuff soon, I'm sure. Human Soldier. There's a foil, so we're going to token out, land out, foil card, rare card. We've got Sanctuary Smasher, Charge of the Forever Beast, and Alternate Lore Dracus. Mysterious Egg, Adventurous Impulse, Helica Glider, which is a Nightmare Squirrel, apparently. It's the stuff of nightmares. Actually, it is kind of awful looking. Get it out of here. Crustacean. Lots of crab. Lots of crab. Fire Prophecy, Blitzleech, so Foil Sonorous Howlbonder. That's cool. And a Ruinous Ultimatum. Kills all of your opponent's things and none of your things. The fairest kind of board wipe. The one that hurts everyone but you. No plastic. There is another foil, so... Token out. Land out. Foil card. Rare card. Whoop. We got... Polywog Symbiote. Little Frogman. Ivy Elemental. This is the card, I believe, that was replaced by another one of the Godzilla guys. A Jubilant Skybonder. Moscote Goriak. Taking a big yawn or shouting at his neighbors for being too noisy. Flycatcher Giraffid. Anticipate. Solid footing. Gloom Pangolin. Lots of leech. Fire prophecy. Memory leak. Migratory Great Horn. Got a lurking dead eye as our foil. It's got flash. And a mythos of Snapdax as our rare. The mythos cards are an interesting cycle because they care about what color of mana you spend on them, they all give you different things, so... A little bit interesting. Companion token. A planes and no foil this time, so one card to the back. 
got Reconnaissance Mission, Zagoth Mamba, Glowstone Recluse, Raking Claws, more Girafid, cross between a chameleon and a giraffe with antlers, killing the mosquitoes, we need him in Florida, get rid of those guys, Hampering Snare, Savai Sabertooth, Migratory Great Horn, Alternate Art, once again, just being noisy, Forbidden Friendship, Lurking Deadeye, Vulpikeet, and Karuga the Macro Sage. I didn't know this was a card. Your starting deck contains only cards that convert may cost three or greater and land cards. So he's actually he's the opposite of Luris of the Dream Den. He wants expensive cards in your deck. And when he enters the battlefield, you draw a card for each other permanent you control with converted mana cost of three or greater. That's kinda cool. I don't know. I don't know if he's good or not. We'll find out later, I'm sure, once I've looked up the prices for everything that we're opening and seeing what exactly we've got. Human Soldier, Bloodfell Caves, and there is another foil, so we're going to get rid of those. Foil and Rare. Escape Protocol, Sprite Dragon, Regal Leosaur, Thwart the Enemy, Tentative Connection, Imposing Vantasaur, Keep It Safe, Blazing Volley, Cathartic Reunion, A Boot Nipper, Dark Bargain, Ferocious Tigerilla. It's possibly the most fun thing to say I've ever actually had to read as far as card names go. A Foil Boot Nipper and Offspring that Springs Revenge. I can see this card being hilarious in Kalia of the Vast decks where you just get value every time something enters. Right. I'm honestly just trying to uh, breeze through this as quick as I can to get to that Double Masters. Because <laughs> uh, I'm excited. I've, I've been putting it off for too long. Boon of the Wishgiver. Ketria Crystal. Back for more. Whisper Squad. The ye Yelling Cow again. <laughs> Spontaneous Flight. Blade Banish. One of Mind. That's really nice art, actually. Capture a Spear, telling the story of the cathartic reunion dinosaur and his friend. Drenith Stinger, alternate art of Vulpikeet. Screwing with the bees, lurking Deadeye, and a hunted nightmare on the end. Still no big hits yet, and we're like a quarter of the way to the box, which is kind of surprising. All the mythics of uh drifted to one side, or maybe this whole box is just just a big old dud. We'll find out. <laughs> we got Fight as One, Channeled Force, Archipelagor, Big Turtle, Honey Mammoth, Unexpected Fangs, Girafid, Coordinated Charge, Blister Spit Gremlin, Phase Dolphin, Rumbling Rock Slide, Deadweight, Day Squad Marshal, Pyroceratops, and Gigantha the Wellspring. We're, we've hit like almost we've hit a ton of the companion cards, which is kind of awesome, but still no mythics, which is kind of... Oh, well, it's, it's, it's getting frustrating. I want to I see big stuff. Where, where's, the, where's the exciting, awesome pulls? Got this guy, Beast, Plains, and... We're going to take this to there and go ahead. Will of the All Hunter, Cunning Knight Bonder, Splendor Mare, Spell Eater Wolverine, The Shouting Cow, Frostvale Ambush, Perimeter Sergeant, Gloom Pangolin, Phase Dolphin, Frenzied Raptor, Night Squad Commando, Vulpikeet, Go for Blood, Please Something Good. Please. And we got a. <laughs> Yes, thank you. It actually did what I wanted. We got Vivian, Monsters Advocate. Planeswalker card. You may look at the top card of your library at any time, and you can cast your creature spells from the top of your library. And you can plus one to create a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. Right, we just got one of those. Where is it? Put it back on. Put it back on. Where is he? I don't know. I lost the token. I'm... This was a good time to lose the token. 3-3 three, three green beast. Put your choice of a Vigilance counter, or Reach counter, or a Trample counter on it. Or you can minus two, so that when you cast your next creature spell this turn, 
you search your library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. I don't know if she goes for money, but still, it's a mythic rare that I don't have in my collection, so we are happy to have her. Take a seat in the good pile. You've done your job. And we'll move right along. Five packs until we open that double masters and hope to hit something awesome. We got a human soldier, a rugged highlands, and then we're going to move our rare to the back. Weaponize the monsters, boneyard lurker, skull prophet, survivor's bond. That's that's a, that is a monkey with horns. That is that's like King Kong Gorilla Man with horns. The, I, the creatures in this set are really cool, but they have features you'd never think that things would have. Coordinated Charge, Sleeper Dart, Thieving Otter, Pacifism, Dranith Stinger, Mutual Destruction, and Slither Wisp. I think I should just put one of him into one of my commander decks. Already had one, but he's still really interesting. Because they, they put a lot of cards that flash and benefit you for using it lately. I got one of the token cards that is little punch out counters. And then we're going to take our land out and put our rare to the back. Got Mystics of Duel. Unbreakable Bond with this big old plated raccoon thing. Going to give her a big old wet willy. Clash of the Titans. Spring Jaw Trap. Sun of Spinnerets. Granite Healer. Hampering Snare. Divine Arrow. Convolute. Dreamtail Heron. Heightened Reflexes. Memory Leak. Essence Symbiote. And we got the Sharknado. That, that, that's actually a card that is going for a lot of money right now, I think. Sharknado in Magic the Gathering. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you make a blue shark creature token with flying. And its power is equal to it, the card's mana cost that you cast. And so is its toughness. Or you can cycle this for a blue, one of any color, an X to discard this card, draw a card, and then when you do, you get a blue shark token with however much mana you paid. Either way, you get flying sharks. Also going in the awesome pile. Three cards to go until we hit our double masters pack. More punch out tokens, a basic land. There is a foil, so we're going to foil rare and move right in We've got momentum rumbler an alternate art parcel beast oozing energy huntmaster liger fertilid wilt wingfold terran blister spit gremlin again more nightmare squirrel facet reader he this guy just looks like he's judging me What room do you have to talk? Get out. Got Corpse Churn, Essence Scatter, Splendor Mare, Foil, and a Luminous Brood Moth. I think it's also going for a decent chunk right into the awesome pile. We at least hit two Mythics before I got halfway through this, so can't complain. Good stuff. It took a, it took a minute, but good things have happened. It, it just had to warm up some. We're getting used to the new surroundings. Human Soldier, we got a foil, so we're going to get rid of that and get rid of the land and foil rare. Got Ominous Seas, Valiant Rescuer, Porky Parrot, Wilt, Ram Through, Convolute, Garrison Cat, Capture Spear, Checkpoint Officer, Frenzied Raptor, Memory Leak, Excavation Mole. That does not look like a mole. That looks like fucking stuff of my nightmares. Get him out of here. We got a foil honey mammoth, and we got a voracious great shark on the end. Flashing shark. Get our stuff going. One pack to go until the double masters, so. And then hopefully, sooner rather than later, we'll be able to actually open a full box of the double masters. But that's for another day. I'm sorry, I had to tease you. Got human soldier. We got a mountain. No foil on the end, so rare to the back. Got an exuberant wolf bear, 
Oh lord, he coming. Chonky. Savai Crystal. Pouncing Shore Shark. Shredding Sails. Sudden Spinrits. Frost Lynx. Startling Development. Get, get him out. Right, reflexes. Night Squad Commando. Pacifism. Cloud Piercer Alternate Art. Big ol' Dinosaur. And we got a Raugrin Triome on the end. Which, aside from the spiky rocks, looks like a fairly nice beach to be part of. It looks like I'd like to go there and just spend a day. Hopefully not getting haunted by nightmare squirrels. But... And then this pack works the way I would have thought that these would have worked. So, like, it goes commons straight back into the rare. So we just go straight through. We got Sanctum Gargoyle. Salivating Gremlins. Is it just me that the, the, the colors on these cards just look kind of muddier? Silumgar Scavenger. Frogify. Wouldn't want to be him. Everflowing Chalice. Urza's Mine. Eager Construct. Fortify. Something backwards? What? Why? Why? Okay, Master Splicer, got Death Reef Ritual, got Trash for Treasure, Disciple of Bolas as our first rare, and Godo, Bandit Warlord, as our second. We got a Vidalcan Infuser Foil, a Sentinel of the Pearl Trident Foil, and a Sapperling Token. Now, I don't know much about either of these. Battlefield is searchlight for equipment card put on the battlefield if you do shuffle your library. Whenever Goto attacks for the first time each turn, untap it and all samurai you control. After this phase, there's an additional combat. It doesn't seem bad, except I don't know about many samurai creatures, so I don't know if this card sees play or if it carries value. Either way, it's interesting cards to open because I've never seen them before, so this is all good things, I guess. Just be done with them. I'll set that aside as to not mix them into the rest of our Acoria stuff. And then we'll get back into the other half of what we're doing. I'm glad that so far the cats have cooperated and not been invading the table, because they are just swarming around me, but otherwise leaving me well alone, so that's fine. We got a foil, so we're going to token, land, foil, rare, and go right in. Void Beckoner. Try to get that art into frame. There we go. Terrifying creature. Trumpeting Gnar. Looks like the beast token, actually. A heartless Act. Almighty Brushwag. This creature. This guy. He's almighty, apparently. We leave him well alone. Tentative Connection. Blazing Volley. Anticipate. Divine Arrow. One of Mind. Fire Prophecy. An alternate art dream tale heron, lurking dead eye, a foil forest, and a crystalline giant. I guess set that foil forest aside. That's nice. Just, you, uh, I, I don't know if you're any good, so you're just gonna go into the regular pile of rares, not the awesome pile of rares. And we'll keep going, hoping for some more cool stuff in here. Human soldier, swamp. Uh. I don't know what I'm looking at there, so I'm just going to move two for the sake of making sure I don't mess this up. We've got Migration Path, Grim Dancer, Majestic Archon. So we have two awesome things at the end because there's a foil and. There's a foil full art and it looks like a foil regular. A full, I'm sorry, a blah blah blah. A foil full art and an alternate art regular card as our rare, so. We got three uncommons, so two cool things at the end at least. Ram through. More Brushwag, Frostvale Ambush, Checkpoint Officer, Wingfold Terran, Gloom Pangolin, Essence Symbiote, Heightened Reflexes, Blood Curdle, a Foil Indatha Triome. That's actually the second one of this full art land I've pulled. And a. F <laughs> yeah! Wow! No way! A, fu a Full art Narset, Mythic Rare of the Ancient Way, Planeswalker. Actually, I didn't get any Planeswalkers in my first box of the set, so the fact that I pulled two in, in one is kind of cool. 
Legendary Planeswalker Narset. You can plus one to gain two life, add a blue, red, or white mana to your mana pool, and spend that mana only to cast a non-creature spell. You can minus two to draw a card, and then you may discard a card. When you discard a non-land card this way, Narset of the Ancient Way deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to target creature or planeswalker. Not to players, though. And minus six, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. I think the emblem is obviously the best part of this, but it's still really cool, and the full art is, is awesome. Glad to have it. That's going right into the awesome pile, along with the full art. And death, a triumph foil, which is just gorgeous. And away it goes. So we can move on to even more even more cards, because we still have a decent chunk left here. It's like another, what, 15, 16 packs, maybe? We got no foils, so we will get rid of the token, get rid of the land, and rare to the back. We got a Void Beckoner again, lots of him suddenly, for some reason. Zagoth Crystal. Got a Foil Huntmaster Liger, which is just gorgeous. I, I, I just love these, these full art creatures. They look so good. I wish more sets would do stuff like that in that art style. Gust of Wind, Coordinated Charge, Keep Safe, Light of Hope, Patagia Tiger, Ferocious Tigerilla, Ferocious Tigerilla, Ferocious Tigerilla. I, I just love saying that, I'm sorry. Boot Nipper, Deadweight, and Colossification. What the? F Seven mana, Enchanted Creature. When Colossification enters the battlefield, you tap the Enchanted Creature. And the enchanted creature gets plus 20, plus 20. That's so much. That's a big kitty. I'm going to use that joke again. He chonk. Oh, Lord, he coming. I'll be setting it aside for my personal enjoyment. We're just going to put that in the awesome pile. I don't, I don't know if it's worth anything or if it's any good even, but I, I like it too much. It's, it's going in the pile. Right in there. We're going to get that out of here. We're going to... Dinosaur token, and no foil, so we're going to dinosaur out, land out, rare to the back. Doll hunter, parcel beast, trumpeting gnar, greater sandworm, fertilid, unlikely aid, phase dolphin, plummet, perimeter sergeant, rumbling rock slide, pyroceratops, bush meat poacher, she poaches the sheet, day squad marshal. And a cat, sky cat sovereign on the end. This, oh, this is what makes the, the the flying cat tokens. I like this card as well, just because we cat obsession. That's a problem with me. I just I just love cats. Oh, little, little tiny, little tiny bird cats. Okay, cool. Let's stop talking about cats and just see what people are here to see. Just open the packs. Actually, be funny, maybe. Kraken, Forest, no foil, so token out, land out, rare to the back. Keen Sight Mentor, Necropanther, Frill Scare Mentor, Shredded Sail, Survivor's Bond, Unlikely Aid, More Otters, Stealing More Things, Light of Hope, Sleeper Dart, Cavern Whisperer. He doesn't look like he's whispering, he looks like he's screaming bloody freaking murder. Jesus, get him out of here. Day Squad Marshal, Cloud Piercer, Corpse Churn, and Full oof, dirge bat. I don't know why I almost said full art because it's definitely not, but that's. I haven't seen this, but I. I think it's good. I think. I haven't opened this art personally. I've only ever seen it as the full art. I've seen people play it in, in some decks in my little friend group, so maybe it is valuable, or maybe it's just well liked by my friends and my friends alone. I don't know. I with without. MTG having Friday Night Magic, so I actually have like, I'm in like a little echo chamber, I've got no idea what is actually good in the meta, or if there even is a meta this year. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, that doesn't look, look like it's foil, so we're going to token out, land, out, rare to the back. Call of the Death Dweller, Raugrin Crystal, a full art porky parrot. They, they're really adding porcupine spines to animals that really just don't look like they want them. Ram through, fully grown, fully unlikely aid. 
Imposing Vantasaur, Convolute, Gust of Wind, Garrison Cat, Migratory Great Horn, Cathartic Reunion, Serrated Scorpion, because why not make a scorpion even more unlikable, and Kogla, the Titan Ape. It's King Kong! When it the battlefield, it fights up the one target creature you don't control. Whenever you attack, you destroy target artifact or enchantment the defending player controls. And you can pay two to return target human you control to its owner's hand. And he gains indestructible. So yeah, he's King Kong. Get off the Empire State Building. We know how this ends. Get down. Get down. Get him out of here. Still lots to go. I, it's because I'm wasting time. It's because I'm wasting so much time. Beast token. Forest. We're going to take those off rare to the back and go in. Easy Prey, Barrier Breach, Proud Wild Bonder, with his little tiny shouting cow on his shoulder, Bristling Boar, Suffocating Fumes, Thwart the Enemy, Snare Tactician, Anticipate, Glimmer Bell, Patagia Tiger, Serrated Scorpion, Go for Blood, Excavation Mole, and Yorion Sky Nomad, which I know is played in a standard deck that I saw online, so happy to have him set it aside. Yes. Get the pack with the judgy, little judgy rat thing. Get him out of here. Prickly Marmoset, was it? Get, get, I don't care. Get him out. I don't like him. We got a foil, so we're going to take this out. We're going to take this out. We're going to put that to the back, which is the foil, and this behind it, which is the rare. We got Reptilian Reflection, which looks like possibly the most terrifying thing you could witness if you are trying to avoid a dinosaur eating you. Neutralize, Flame Spill, Humble Naturalist, Fully Grown, Frost Lynx, Adaptive Shimmerer, Solid Footing, Facet Reader, Mutual Destruction, Excavation Mole, Cathartic Reunion. We got a Foil the Ozolith, which is just... I'm just going to bask in that shininess for a second before we move on to whatever's behind it, because that's just too cool. And a Bosch, the Prey Piercer, another companion we haven't seen yet. It's a Hellion Horror. Your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs and lands in order to make him your companion. And if a source you control with an odd converted mana cost would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. That seems really good, actually. Aside from the fact it locks you into using only cards that cost odd numbers, but I'm sure there's a deck built around it that I don't know about. We're going to set the Ozolith into the awesome stuff pile and you into the regular stuff pile because I have no idea what actually holds value. I just collect the cards. I'm a spooky nerd collecting magic cards. Welcome to Unboxing Tutor where we just don't know anything about the cards we open. Uh, no foil, so Human Soldier out, land out, rare to the back. We got Easy Prey, Raugren Crystal, Savai Thundermane, Spontaneous Flight. Get him out. Spellator Wolverine, Garrison Cat, Blazing Volley, Anticipate. I, I feel like they're just putting. <laughs> I feel like now that I've started complaining about these guys who just look awful, that I'm just constantly seeing them. Blitz Leech, Migratory Great Horn, Cathartic Reunion, Full. I keep almost saying full art. Why do I keep doing that? Cub Warden. He's a big cat with little cats in the back. They're hiding behind Daddy. Daddy cat. Get him out before that becomes a meme. Plastic. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dumping things everywhere. Human soldier. That's not foil, so we're going to token out, land out, rare. Call the Death Dweller, Skull Prophet, Alert Heed Bonder, Thwart the Enemy, Spontaneous Flight, Bristling Boar, Divine Arrow, One of Mind, Adaptive Shimmerer, Serrated Scorpion, Fire Prophecy, Another Full Art Dream Tale Heron, Lurking Dead Eye, Unpredictable Cyclone as the Rare. No idea if that's any good, but moving on. I don't know, I, I just... I, I mean, I don't know what any of these are worth, other than the fact that I know that the Sharknado goes for a decent bit because it's in the display case at the store I buy my cards at, and I know that the Triome lands are valuable. I didn't look to see if we had a foil, so maybe we've messed up. We'll risk it. <sighs> I shouldn't have risked it. 
There's our rare, full art dirge bat. There he is, Titanoth Rex, avian oddity, heartless act, tentative connection. I'm pretty sure there's nothing of value on the end. Wait, there is a foil. Oh, yeah. And it's a foil to Yorion. So I lied. I've lied twice. I've got no idea what's going on. Good card, good card. I just don't know how to open packs. Set the foil guy aside, because I know he's played in some sort of constructive format. So let's make that a thing. Here, we'll get rid of the plastic and we'll punch out token, Windscarred Crag. That is not a foil, so we're going to drop this, drop this, rare to the back, and go. Momentum Rumbler. Wingspan Mentor, General's Enforcer, Whisper Squad, Humble Naturalist, Evolving Wilds, Shimmerer, Terran, Banish, Destruction, Symbiote, Prevention, Coil Bug, and Titan's Nest as the rare. This looks like it's just perfect for feeding a Muldroth, the Commander deck. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. And you can exile cards to your graveyard to create colorless mana. And you, you spend that mana only to cast a colored spell without an X in its cost. Seems amazing. Although, I'm hoping for some more mythics before we finish this box out. We got a throwaway and then not a foil. So, throwaway card, throwaway card, rare. Sanctuary Lockdown. It, that's basically our whole lives right now. See him? See him right there? That's you. It's you on lockdown. And this is whatever country you live in. I'm telling you no. I don't know how to move on from that. Dire Tactics is a card we haven't seen yet. That's a good transition. Raking Claws. We got Survivor's Bond, Spring Trap Jaw, Thieving Otter, Snare Tactician, Hampering Snare, Main Serval, Prickly Marmoset, Durable Coil Bug, the actual first Dreamtail Heron I think I've seen that isn't an alternate art, and Demori the Collector. Another companion card, and this one's big old. Uh, this this one's Flubber. This is Flubber. Okay. Another one. DJ Khaled. Ugh. Menace. Tokens. Not foil. Get it out. Get it out. Rare. Hornbash Mentor. Duskfang Mentor. Chittering Harvester. Mentor. Adventurous Impulse. Mentor. <laughs> we'll stop with that. That's getting annoying. There's too many mentors in this set. Cavern Whisperer screaming out loud. Genesis Ultimatum on the end. We've got six to go. Human Soldier, Island, there is a foil there, so we're going to drop this, drop this, foil, rare. Go Swallow Hole, for all the Vore fetishists out there, this card is for you. Zenith Flare, Auspicious Starix, Suffocating Fumes, Sandworm, Glimmer Bell, Vantasaur, Gremlin, One of Mind, Pyroceratops, Scorpion, Essence Scatter, Foil Tranquil Cove, and Labyrinth Raptor on the end. Five to go. Counting down. Need more good stuff. Give me more. Companion token. Uh, not a foil, so we're going to drop this, drop this. Rare. We got Rooting Moloch. Storm Wild Caprador, which I think is the first time I've seen this card, period. Huh. Primal Empathy. Raking Claws. Fertilid. Blah, 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 blah. I've seen it all. Kin and Border Prod Prod Bonder Prodigy. There's another mythic. So I think we've pretty much rounded out our mythics for the pack. We probably won't get any more, but there's a chance. We've got more Catbird. Always happy to see them. We've got Bloodfell Caves. I don't know if that was a foil or not. Maybe we just messed up again. We did not. Okay, cool. Weaponize the monsters. Lead the stampede. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Mysterious Egg. Honey Mammoth. Tentative Connection. Blazing Volley. Divine Arrow. Gust of Wind. Dark Bargain. Boot Nipper. Lava Serpent. Farfinder. And Zerda the Dawnwalker. Another companion. <laughs> Each permanent card has, in your starting deck has an activated ability in order to use him. 
Abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana in that cost to cost less than one. That's kind of cool. And it's Smoky Fox. Three more. We'll just flip the packs over and just go from the bottom of the stack and see if that brings us any luck just to change things up. Got no foil there, so we're going to drop this, drop this, rare. Subduel, Fox, Leosaur, through all the commons. What do we got? We got Emergent Ultimatum, another one with the Ultimatum cycle from this set. Set that down. Not very lucky. Or at least didn't seem to make it any luckier than I'd hoped. And we're going to Dinosaur, Rugged Highlands. Wait, have I messed up? Oh no, that's the foil. We'll just stop ourselves before I screw this up, and we'll just pretend we didn't see that and move the rare behind it. See? All is well. Dothic Crystal. Zagoth Mamba. Grim Dancer. Now, we're going to get up to here, and I'm going to say, I, w I want to know, can anyone in the audience guess what our foil is going to be? That's right. It's a channel force. I don't know how you guessed. We got a Quartzwood Crasher behind it. Dinosaur Beast with Trample. This is the one that makes tokens of dinosaurs equal to the damage it deals. But I think I think this is pretty good. I don't know. I'm not positive if it's in a list or not, but I've heard that it gets ridiculous if it actually manages to go off. And here we are. Last pack. Oh, jeez. As we smack the camera. Let's turn that back to where it was. And then we'll... No foil, so we're going to drop that, drop that that and to the back. This way, that, that corner's already bent. Rude. <sighs> Monster Step, Reconnaissance Mission, Sunrise Hellbonder, Evolving Wild, Stort the Enemy, Facet Reader, Frostvale Ambush, Perimeter Sergeant, Gloom Pangolin, Lurking Deadeye, Vulpikeet, Prickly Marmoset, Chorp's Churn, and Lava Brink Venture as our last rare of the pack. Lava Brink Venture enters the battlefield, choose odd or even. It is protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. This seems like it was just meant to spite that one guy we pulled earlier. Still, that is that is it for our double masters and mostly Ikoria unboxing video. So I will see you guys all again soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave comments so I know what you think. And thank you again for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.